The image of the black and white Saturn V thundering to life and clearing the tower is one of the most durable memories of the American consciousness. But if John Hobolt had failed, if NASA hadn't selected Lunar Orbit Rendezvous, that American memory would be radically different. Hi, I'm Todd Zwillick. My Audible original about the true story of the moon landing is available now only on Audible. John Hobolt was an aeronautical engineer. He joined NASA, or what would become NASA, right after World War II. He was an airplane guy. He wasn't even a space guy. He worked on airplane wings and, and runways. Well, when the space race started, when the Russians beat us into space, people started to get very serious very fast about catching up. There was a lot of debate around NASA about how exactly to do this, ideas about how to go to the moon. John Hobolt had an idea about how to do it faster and cheaper and in a way that you could really land astronauts safely. But John's story is one of perseverance. He campaigned for about two years for this idea, Lunar Orbit Rendezvous. That's how we got to the moon. That's the lunar lander that's so famous now. Had Earth Orbit Rendezvous won out, Americans would remember not one giant Saturn V launch, but two or three, even as many as five, all within hours or days of each other, each launch flinging skyward pieces of the vehicle to be assembled in Earth orbit before going on to the moon and leaving behind human organization and coordination unlike the world had ever seen. You absolutely don't have to be a space geek to be in this story. John's story is a human story. John grew up very, very poor. It was a huge accomplishment for him to be at NASA in the first place. But when John wanted to get his ideas into the mix about going to the moon, he wasn't treated very well. He was dismissed and humiliated by other people. And he just didn't take no for an answer because he knew he was right and he was right. If John didn't have that streak in him, we probably wouldn't have gotten to the moon. People who know the most about the history of Apollo. Most of those people understand and accept now we definitely wouldn't have made it by 1969 if it hadn't been for John.